Welcome to Fluid Ray. In this tutorial we'll populate this project with trees and grass. We'll use the scatter tool, introduced in version 4.0. In order to scatter assets, we first need to select a surface where they will be scattered. We've already saved a couple of selections. They will be used as surfaces for our scattering. Let's start with trees. Now we need to open the scatter tool, through tools to scatter assets menu. Here we can create a list of assets we wish to scatter on the selected surface. Assets are chosen from assets library. Let's increase the number of instances. Every asset on the list has its own scattering parameters. They can be accessed clicking the gear button or double clicking on the list. Here we want to make sure that roots are placed mostly underground. To achieve this result, we need to move instances along their z axis through the bias z parameter. Let's add some randomness on their scale, decreasing their random scale minimum limit. And telling Fluid Ray to randomly rotate them around the z-axis from 0 to 180 degrees. This can be done by setting random RZ max parameter to 180. Let's add another kind of tree from Assets Library. Fluid Ray will randomly choose between the two trees. Proportion, parameter will determine how often a tree will be chosen. Let's add some randomness also to this tree. As you can see, trees have been randomly distributed over the selected surface. Now it's time for flowers and grass. We'll distribute them only on the surface closer to the camera. First we need to remove the assets used for the last scattering. Now we'll add come assets from the library. Let's add some randomness, as we did for trees.
We're done with flowers. Now we want to add grass to the same surface used for flowers. We need a grass asset. This asset has been previously imported and saved in our user library. In order to cover the surface, we need a large amount of instances. When scattering grass, it is important to align its z-axis with surfaces normal. We just need to set direction align to positive normal. Now let's increase its scale and add some randomness. Grass is now covering our surface. We want now to change grass color. In order to select all the grass, we can hold down shift key, click on it, and select the scatter group. We can now tweak its material. If we want to modify any of the scattered assets, we just need to hold down Alt key and click on them. When modifying assets, it can be useful to switch to a faster render mode. This can be done by pressing Ctrl, CMD on Mac, and 2 key. Or through the view to render mode to albedo menu. Assets can also be selected by holding Shift key clicking on them and selecting Asset on the context menu. Thanks for watching.